Danny inspired me to make my own multiplayer game. Welcome to Lads and Lasers, a competitive shooter set in a secret government facility called Laser Corp, where all lasers are made. This means military lasers, medical lasers, laser printers, nightclub lasers, and even laser pointers. And these lasers are tested by robots, and after work hours, the staff at Laser Corp run an underground robot fighting arena where robots use the lasers against each other. So now you can move fast, jump high, and obliterate your friends with overpowered lasers. But Ben, what happened to Car Game? Did you give up on yet another personal project? No, Car Game is still in the works. I plan on releasing it when the time is right. But right now, I want to work on something bigger, something more exciting. So I made the prototype for a game called Lads and Lasers. But then I broke the whole thing. So let's start at the beginning with Danny. It all started with Muck and Crab Game. Me and a friend have been playing some of Danny's games and we asked ourselves, why are all of Danny's games so fun? Was it the AAA graphics or was it the extremely moving characters? We came to the conclusion that it was because they were multiplayer, they had physics and they made the player feel powerful. And we thought, what game can we design with that in mind? How about a competitive shooter about fast movement while shooting lasers at your friends? It sounds good, but it's still a little generic. So what if the lasers could fire through walls and one shot everything? But if everyone could be one shot, wouldn't the player just find a good point to camp or take somebody out right at the beginning like in CSGO? That's true. What if the laser could only charge by moving? Thus, Lads and Lasers was born. But, as the saying goes, before you can fire lasers, you need to learn to walk. I opened up Unreal Engine 5 and I got a player up and running in no time at all. I added some fast movement, a jump, a double jump, and took some inspiration from Dusk for the camera rotating when the player moves left or right. Next up, I needed to figure out what the metrics were that I wanted to use for the level design, so I created some simple blocks with a proportion similar to an asset pack that I found on the marketplace. Because most walls in a pack are 5 meters tall, I made my players jump height 6 meters. Normally that would be way too powerful of a jump, but in Lads and Lasers, you need to be very mobile. Because it lines up perfectly with the height, it feels really great. And I've created a jump pad that launches the player 3 times their jump height to make sure it has an advantage as compared to the double jump we already have and the game is about moving quickly after all jumping and moving so that you can avoid the lasers but now that it's feeling fun it's time to add what we've all been waiting for it's time to add some lasers and a momentum rifle Behold! Okay, so it may not look the prettiest right now, but it does work. As the player moves around to charge the laser, part of the laser even spins to help show this. And once it's fully charged, the player can fire, and this will cause the player to be launched backwards due to the power of the laser. But Ben, if a laser is just light, it should have as much recoil as turning on a torch, so really the player shouldn't move. And to that I say... Anyway, everything the laser touches creates an explosion as it makes it just a bit easier to use as just aiming the cylinder might be difficult to get exactly right. And now if you shoot the ground even next to a player, the explosion will still take them out. But this doesn't feel very good at all, does it? Take Muck for example, even hitting a rock or a tree feels good. It feels powerful. This laser does not. So let's add some game feel. Behold! This makes it feel so much more fun despite the fact that everything actually is exactly the same in terms of functionality. And like I said, the laser is 50% of the important player mechanics, so we have to get this right. So it needs to be easy to use. Well, one easy change we can make is just to make the laser massive. Alright, not, not that massive. Much better. Okay, so now what? We have a functional player. Well, how about two of them? It's a competitive shooter after all. Multiplayer seems pretty important. Every function that was called needed to go through something called replication. We need to break down all the functions and decide what information is getting sent where. But when sending a message to all clients, it doesn't send it to the server, which in this case is, is a player. So oh, we can switch has authority. And if they don't, send a message to the server. And now it's working. Now that I can fire the laser at my friend, I need to confront. I should be able to respawn. The idea is that a new robot would be dispensed through a hatch in the ceiling when one is destroyed. For now, I'm just going to teleport the player because I don't want to do that right now. This just means that the player position needs to be set to a random point out of all the respawn points that we've placed. It's easy enough. Later on though, I'd like to spectate the player who shot me for a few seconds before respawning. But right now, I just want something playable so we can finally test it. Now we only need a couple details such as a timer, scoring, a kill feed, and an area to wait while players are joining. This allows everyone to learn the map before jumping right into combat. And then I can finally beat my friends in the game because I've played this more than them and they don't even know it exists. This would be a basic game mode for now, just a free for all fight. But later, I want to add some cool game modes that you typically won't see in competitive shooters. The idea is to make arcade game modes ranked. I really want to see a competitively ranked game of the floor is lava. Now that we have a basic game mode working alongside our main mechanics and networking, let's perform a playtest. So I asked the studio, Radical Forge, if anyone would like to lend a hand testing the game. And we gave it a go. And this is how it went. It was a massive success and everyone had a great time. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see if we can take this even further and create a competitive shooter really worth playing. I'll see you then.